Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today we're going to talk about bicycles in Amsterdam, but also cycling in Amsterdam. So now you're probably thinking, how does this guy even know stuff about Amsterdam and cycling in Amsterdam? Well, because I'm actually born and raised in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, that's why I'm making this video for you guys. So you understand the culture, you understand what to do when you are coming to visit Amsterdam or even the Netherlands in general and what to expect from the traffic from the people in this whole cycling community slash world now i get a lot of questions about where to find cheap bikes where to park your bike how to bike what's the common thing what, what bikes are cheap what bikes are expensive what is allowed what is not allowed all That's these it. questions i will try to actually answer them all. If I miss any questions or if you have any questions afterwards, put them down below and I'll try to respond to it as fast as I can. Now, the general points I want to talk about is actually buying bikes, the bikes itself and the traffic. So first up is buying a bike. Uh, buying a bike in Amsterdam, one of the biggest bicycle cities in the world. Now, and a common thing that we all know, and maybe not all, but in Amsterdam, there are more bikes than people. The reason why is, is actually every household has more than two bikes. This due to you and your partner having one bike and then also having kids and, the, and your kids also having bikes. Also having a extra bike as a more reserved bike. So you have this fancy bike, that you love and then you have this crappy bike that you call a station bike as we call it here and this bike is more the crap ass bike that looks so awful and is so shitty but it brings you from point a to b and is also not as attractive to thieves now if you come to this country to the netherlands if you are in groningen utrecht den Haag, um Amsterdam, doesn't matter where. The most important thing is uh, when you choose to buy a bike, find out where the bike shops are and just visit them all. And trust me, there are a lot of bike shops and you have people who sell bikes. Most of them are stolen, but not all of them. How to know, how to identify that, how to know when a bike is stolen? Well, at first glance, it's not possible. Depending on the person selling it to you, it could be like a shady person, but it could also be a normal, like, everyday person who sells you this bike. The thing is, every bike in Amsterdam has a frame number. Some are scratched off. So you have bikes with frame numbers and bikes without frame numbers. Now, bikes without frame numbers, you can definitely say that these bikes are stolen. Bikes with frame numbers can also be checked. And you yeah. have a simple website called stophailing.org. NL. I'm gonna put this website in the description down below. On this website, immediately lets you know if a bike is stolen, yes or no. But it doesn't mean that a bike isn't stolen if the frame number doesn't get found or does get found, but there is no alert that it's been stolen. It's more because owner didn't really choose or didn't even bother to report this as stolen. And that's very normal that owners do if their bike gets stolen, depending on what kind of bike it is. If it's their new lovable bike, they will report it. And if it's the crappy station bike that they had, they won't report. And then the next question will be, well, where can I find these people? These people just walk around with bikes in their hands around the streets of Amsterdam, just step Step up to you and say hey you want to buy a bike for 20 euros or hey man you want to buy this bike for for five euros or 50 euros or 80 it doesn't matter what kind of price they just walk up to you and randomly give a price and say you want to buy this a stolen bike gets sold very easily very quickly now the other option is bike shops now importantly you should always go online and check the reviews and see if the bike shops are trustworthy. Once you've found a list of bikes, I would say recommend like five bike shops that you go around. Visit them all and get the feeling for it. Understand the bike shops, what what kind of guarantee do I give uh, for bikes, especially secondhand bikes. And most cases, secondhand bikes 
don't come with guarantee. So don't be surprised if they give a guarantee or if they don't. Now, if they give a guarantee, you need to ask specifically uh, what kind of guarantee, what does it cover? Now, once you established where you want to buy your bike, in most cases, you can negotiate the price. Now, I do recommend two locks. Now, the standard Dutch uh, lock is called a ring lock. Now, this ring lock goes on the back of your bike. Now, this is the part that actually locks the back wheel. Secondary lock is a chain lock because chain locks are more flexible, maneuver around frames so you can lock your bike around a pole or post, always. Now, before you even negotiate a price, we need to check and test the bike. Now, checking the bike is important. Why? Because you don't wanna buy a bike and then two days later or a week later, the bike just crumbles and breaks in pieces. The important thing is there shouldn't be an extreme amount of rust. That is your biggest enemy. Is also a thing if we're talking about station bikes. Now, a lot of station bikes are painted over extremely rusted bikes. Uh, These are station bikes that are cheap. Station bikes are uh, bikes you can find for 20 euros to 100 euros. Also very important, lights. Now, you need a front and back light. Now, here in the Netherlands, don't give a rat's ass about stop signs. So, you need to be aware of your surroundings at all times times now if you're drunk if you're high i highly recommend you go on a bike because you will get someone that will push you aside punch you or you will even get hit by a car probably at this point you will have a lot of questions yes. put them in the comment section did i miss anything let's sum it up very quickly do your research visit the bike shops ask for information test the bikes Check the bikes, lock your bikes securely, be confident in your bike and in yourself, be aware of your surroundings. So if you're planning on visiting or do you know someone who will visit the Netherlands, show them this video. Thanks so much for listening and for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care.